Hello, hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. So for today I will be working in my Moleskine watercolor journal and I will be playing with my new Van Gogh watercolors. I know that I'm not a watercolor artist but it's just fun to challenge yourself and uh, to see what what it will bring when you play with some new mediums that you're not familiar with so I'm starting with some clean water and I know that I have a tiny brush and the page is huge so the next thing that I will invest in are some watercolor brushes And I'm just starting to put some water on a page and some color and I will see how it goes. The only thing is that I don't have a clue what colors I'm using because the colors are all numbered. And I don't have any names of the colors that, uh, that are in this set. So, yeah. Sorry, but I can't help you with the names of the color I usually don't make art journals like this but I kinda like it I'm just working very intuitively and I'm just choosing the colors that I like and I'm just having fun So, for this piece, I am starting off with some watercolors, and I also will be using my Dermot Ink 10 pencils and my Micron pen. And those are the only three mediums that I've used. Oh, I forgot the stickles, the Ranger glitter stickles. Those are the only things that I've used for this page. So, as you can see, you don't need a whole lot of stuff just to make art journal pages. Just use your imagination and use what you have. For now, I am working on this on this page, and I'm just keep on building layers upon each other. And the first layer with watercolor is always the lightest, and I want to intensify the color, so I need to put some more layers on top. There's no right or wrong, It's everything is intuitive and everything just goes with the flow and I'm just having fun. Just keep in mind that when you think that you're done, this page needs to dry. And the drying part takes a long time. And I do recommend to let it air dry and not to use a heat tool. Because the heat tool makes the pigment flow around. So it can change your page. So keep that in mind and just... The best thing is just to keep the just to air dry this piece. So 
so I have to say that I really starting to like the pink and the purple down below and what you also can do is just use your collage papers and do some mark making, some doodling or just use your stamps you can basically do everything you just have to keep, uh, keep in mind that the first layer that it, it will be activated once you put some mediums on top of it The end is almost there. I just want to intensify the colors down below, the, the orangey yellow yellowish color. And some more pink because your page will always look better with some pink on it, right? And this background is almost done. Just a little bit more brown. And that's it. And I'm just putting this journal aside to dry. Don't close your journal, keep it open. So be patient and let's continue doing some stamping. For the stamping part, I'm using a very old stamp, and I don't know if it's still available, but it's a stamp from Stampin' Douche, the Coneflower. And I'm coloring it in with my Derwent Ink Dense Pencils. I'm just using some Distress Watercolor Paper. And I didn't take any notes when I was coloring these flowers, so just do your own thing. I didn't like that, the dark green. No, I didn't. So I've chosen another one, much better. And that's number one. Two more to go. I'm just having fun f playing with these intense pencils and just coloring. And as you might have noticed, I'm not someone who takes a lot of time in their coloring because I don't do shading and all that kind of stuff. I'm not good in shading things. So, yeah, I just like to keep it simple. This is the last flower. And I did fuzzy cut everything because for this flower I didn't thought it was necessary to get the matching dyes. And 
for the middle part I went for some red, I think. If I remember correctly. Yes. And I will put this aside to dry. When I'm done. And the next thing that I will do is to draw some stems for the flowers. Just three long stems and I will doodle the stems and cut them out and use them. The reason why I did this is because there were no stems on the stem set that was matching these flowers, so I just draw them myself. How hard can it be, right? Just doing some doodling. I really, really, really like the micro pen because they are waterproof and they are, they feel really nice in your hand and they draw perfectly. So this is the second stem. With some other doodles, some crosses, some running stitch, and some more zigzags. And the last one will have some big zigzags, and I will doodle the little zigzags. <laughs> Do I make any sense? <laughs> I just love to doodle. Especially with a white pen on a black journal. So re That's so relaxing to do. It's so much fun. So these are my three stems and I will cut them out and use them for this journal page. But for now I will continue with doing some mark making. And I'm starting off with a black pencil. And I'm going to scribble all over the page just very loosely. And with some colors, I will put some marks down on the paper. And I will also doodle a little bit so that this page has a little bit more interest. I just put random marks all over the page and I'm um, just go whatever I feel like doing. And all these marks won't be activated with water. I will just use these pencils like regular pencils. And we will be doing some doodling as well, but we will use a black pen for that part. 
and if you don't like to make marks then you can doodle the whole page as just as well if you prefer why not do what you like to do it's your journal right next part is that I will be doing some doodling with a black micron pen and here I'm, ju I'm just drawing some straight lines and I'm sorry for my camera going out of focus If you can't come up with some new doodles, then you can check it on Pinterest for some doodling ideas. Or you can just keep it very simple and just make some circles or some scalloping shapes or some straight lines. It's very easy. So here are the stems that I've drawn. And I'm just using some different shades of green. And when the stems are dry, we are ready to stick the flowers on a page. So I'm starting with the tallest flower, I'm sticking it down in the middle, and I did use some ranger stickles, but I forgot to press on the button. So I anyway I will list all the supplies that I've used in the description box down below. And if you have any questions, just ask. Just removing some of the adhesive and these are some codes that I've printed out myself and it says all endings are new beginnings and I'm just playing around just to see how I want them on a page No, that's not it. And that's it. This is my page for this week. I will try to post more videos on a regular basis but I won't make any promises it, it all depends how life is and I can only tell you that I will do my best and if you have any suggestions what you would like to see on my channel please put it down below in the comments and I hope to see you at the next video stay safe everybody stay healthy and Happy crafting. Bye bye.